Welcome to another yoga class. <laughs> Sunny, how are you feeling? Do you have your energy picked up a little bit? Down. One day you're okay and then next day you just dive in and then you climb up back again in a good mood. <laughs> but it's, it's all circle of life. You cannot always be happy and you cannot always be sad. You know what I say? Dr. John T. Martini was saying that we are all equal equilibrium between two opposites. And it's so true. We, we go from schizophrenic, which are so ecstatic and happy, to manic depressive. These are two on a thing, you know, when you go under this tangle and whatever its name. So you're between these two complete opposites and you always go to one side and to the other, to this manic, um, so manic depressive or schizophrenic, you know, too sad or too hyper. But life, is like this and then with yoga hopefully with yoga and practice of meditation mindfulness good diet detox all this will keep you in balance but you know one funny thing about this balance thing staying always in a balance it's not good either <laughs> because when you are staying in balance you become stale like a like a lake you know river and a lake when water in a lake stays for a while you end up um being kind of smelly <laughs> i don't end up smelly with the river you always flow and then you just you know it's a fresh so either is good and neither is bad you see how funny life is so your bad mood is not necessarily bad thing and your good mood is not necessarily a good thing so you have to oscillate and and accept these things in life when you down cope I, that's my policy since i know myself when i'm down i'm going to cope i'm not going to get like really down i'm going to cope do things that i like when i'm up i'm just going to enjoy it because i know down is coming anyway so because some people they are up and they wouldn't they are up and they would not enjoy their happiness because they feel guilty they feel already like oh my god I should not be happy there's lots of that you know you know you are happy and then your neighbor is not happy and then you feel guilty because you are happy and your neighbor is not or if you have like some illness in family and you have to suffer like everyone else in the family so you see that being happy is not necessarily guaranteed emotion even in life so enjoy when you are cope when you're down that's all what you need to know it just is like it's a cycle of energy cycle of life cycle of everything we we are born we are we die we are born we die emotions as well emotions go high emotions goes down you see what i mean everything is cycle of life like yoga so it's exactly what we're going to do today we're going to um go in rounds i'm going back to basics i'm going back to what you know what you're familiar with so you can really enjoy the moves you don't need to learn anything you know all it, all of it and i try not to talk much <laughs> we're going to start standing standing today we're going to work on our feet we haven't done feet in ages so first we're going to stand in a mountain pose okay so feet as wide as your hips and you know where your hips are Wherever you find these bony parts of your pelvis, not your bum, not your shoulders, not nothing there. Literally, when you feel these bones here, and then you fall of your femur, your thigh bone, that goes through middle of your leg, and then you find your feet literally underneath. So not too narrow, not too wide, just perfect. And when you see your feet, your feet should be parallel. So if you focus on your inner edges of your feet, they should be like, yeah, parallel so your inner edges are facing each other perfect and then just stay there a little bit we're going to um stay in this mountain pose tandasana pose just to bring the mind and the breath into your practice and then we're going to move so once you align yourself nicely try to rise really tall pull your shoulders back and down and then feel your head on top of the whole structure just floating nicely. Don't put too much effort in it. Just stay wherever you are. We'll work on it. Okay, and then close your eyes. Now it's time to close your eyes. Close your eyes and open your third eye. 
So pointing your eyeballs to the spot between your eyebrows. And again, every time you close your eyes, your eyeballs tend to kind of be focused on that spot between your eyebrows. So you end up bringing your mind into your body. So you start anchoring the, those thoughts that are running around your head all the time. Sometimes we need to quiet them down. No thoughts. So you create this beautiful balance between thinking and not thinking. If you always think no good, if you never think no good. <laughs> so we have to create this beautiful cycle of thoughts. They are coming and they are going. So now they are going. There's no thoughts. Just feelings. So with those eyes closed now, feel your feet grounded. So try to lean a little bit forward. So you light on your heels and you're shifting your waist towards your toes. And then move a little bit backwards. Heavy on your heels, light on your toes. Don't overdo this movement because you might end up <laughs> landing on your bum or your nose. So to really go gently, rocking yourself forward and backwards. And then feel how how easy it is to get out of the balance. Notice when you move just a few inches forward or backwards, you'll be out of the balance, you're losing the stability. See how little it takes to take you out of the balance, to take you out of safety and stability. Interesting. Okay, and then between the two, just find this Again, equally balance between your toes and your heels. So you feel the sole of your foot pressing against the ground evenly. And then observe your knees. Can you just bend your knees slightly so you're not locking your knees backward, especially for people with a hyperextended, hypermobile joints. They tend to, they tend to kind of drop into those knees extending them backwards and then you end up in slouchy position like you're thinking you're standing upright but actually you're not you're just kind of hanging there with no effort and that's not a good thing so you just micro bend those knees notice engagement is in your legs your legs are active you're not hanging there waiting for cappuccino <laughs> you're actually activating your body in the right alignment so there is energy flowing through it awakening you, nervous system, blood flow, your awareness, your consciousness. It's all start working slowly. Okay, and then you come into your pelvis. Place your hands onto your hips and move your hips forwards and, I'm sorry, pelvis forwards and backwards, tilting it. Rock your pelvis forwards and backwards, just gently. Still eyes are closed. Still you steady on those feet. You just Start moving your attention inwards just by doing this little move with rocking your pelvis, stacking it under, under and then tilt it backwards. You would feel between these two maximum ranges of your pelvic movement and then come in, the, in between. Just feel where is the middle and then you just stay there. Feeling that pelvis nicely positioned over your legs that are active. Don't drop into your knees. Right. Now, get your spine long. Really follow your spine from the base of your spine, which is your coccyx, which is this little tailbone between your butt cheeks. So from there, Follow your spine all the way up to your base of your skull, the, the, just the first vertebra, the, the uh, base of your skull. It's called atlas. This first vertebra that your skull rests on it is called atlas. And that's your 33 vertebrae all the way. So now feel that length of your spine. Once you pass your shoulders, 
Move your shoulders back and down a little bit. So you open across your chest a little bit more and you feel proud. Notice the emotional shift when you just move your physical body in a right way. You suddenly have this chest open which this beautiful feeling of proudness and self-worth and confidence and I can do it you know you end up inhaling that air this universal energy when your chest is open heart is open lungs are open such a small physical gesture that would shift your emotional state okay and then see the crown of your head so come on the top of your head and envisage just visualize this invisible string that is pulling you upwards so someone is pulling you up 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 upwards with that invisible string and notice how taller even now taller you stand and lighter you stand there's a lightness in your body. There's lightness in your energy. Oh, it's lovely. And now invite your yogic breath. You're inhaling through your nose. You're exhaling through your nose. And then just feel that breath. Breath of confidence and hope and power don't force it it's not competitive you just want to inhale like you're smelling a flower and kind of brings a little smile on your face and then you hold that scent of that flower within you and then you exhale when you're ready to let go and then do it again four more times like this just inhale the day in filtering through whole of your body and then you just exhale all the rubbish out ready for the new breath pause in between inhale and exhale don't rush your breath so as you inhale you inhale up your spine and as you exhale you exhale down your spine picking up all the rubbish along the way and you just get rid of anything that is no longer serving you. Again, this cycle of life. Rubbish comes in, sorry, the things comes in, rubbish comes out. Because there is always this exchange of good and bad. Rubbish is actually a good thing because that's what left when you bring the good stuff in, recycling and stuff that's what comes out. So rubbish is actually a good thing because you brought something good in you that was metabolized in your body. You see that? It's beauty. Last breath. And then drop your chin to your chest, lower your head down move your head a little bit left and right just to move your neck and pull the shoulder muscles a little bit feels good and then keep it in the middle open your eyes to receive the light and then lift up oh lovely okay so you can do this little short meditation anytime you want just to ground yourself and then just to see the day in a better light Okay, we're starting with the feet. So first thing is curl your toes up, lift your toes up. And find these three points of your grounding of your foot, of your feet. So two at the front. So one is like big bone underneath your big toe. And then the small, so like these two front points. And then one at the back is your heel. And you have to really ground that big bone big toe down because sometimes people just open and you're losing the balance so find these three points and then we're going to test the balance <laughs> as you exhale lift one foot up 
Try not to fall. Stay as you are. Don't even move left and right. Well, if you need to, obviously. <laughs> but try to stay. Exhale again. Squeeze. Focus. Lift the other leg up. But your toes are still curled. You're feeling these three points. Release it down. Can you go again? Exhale. Lift one leg up. Don't fall. Stay steady. Like the steadier, the better. And again, lift the other leg up. Perfect. And then slowly, one by one, spread your toes down. Off you go, curl up again. Now, lower your big toes down. Only big toes. <laughs> it's going to get a little bit of the kind of strange stuff going on, but just big toes are actually activating your arches. If you have pronating feet, like I do, and so many people in class, I usually, when I was teaching, I saw so many people do. That's not good because you end up with a knee damage and lower back damage and shoulder. Everything just piles up. So this is very good to do to activate your arches. And you can just feel the pull in it. Okay. Release the rest of your toes down. Release your feet down. Off you go again. Curl up again. Same as you just done. Lower your big, big toes down as you just done. And then tricky this one. Can you open the small one out? <laughs> so you have like two down, two ends toes down, and then three up. Ah, see if you can do that. You're working the arch across your foot. Your foot has a five arches, not just the one that we call arch. Oh, and then really easy. Ooh. Off you go, curl up again. So now we do motorics, mind-body connection. You're tapping twice with the big, once with the small. Big, big, small. Big, big, small. Oh, there you go. So find your own pace. Too fast, no good if you can't actually execute it. You need to connect your mind now and your body movements. Oh, feel more. Notice how feet are hurting. Ooh, and then release. Let's reverse. Curl up again. Now tapping twice with the small, once with the big. Small, small, big. So this is your motorics. You know, sometimes what mind wants to say, body does completely different. <laughs> now you're going to see if you actually, if your motorics and coordination is working. Oh my God, it's hurting. Two more. And then release. Oh, I haven't done this one in ages and you can just feel it. Okay, next one. Open your feet to the outer edge of your foot. Okay, so now you lean into this outer edges. Your arches are up. And feel the stretch in your lateral side of your ankle. Outside of your ankle. And then we're going to change to in. So you need to step just a little bit wider because there's not enough space. And then move your feet in, your arch, so the outer edges of your feet are up. And then you open again. So keep doing like this. So go to the in, feet are going inwards, feet are opening outwards. Okay, so really focus on your feet. Because in this one, usually you just end up joining the knees in and out. It's not about knees. It's about feet. Your legs will just follow what feet are doing. That's why knees are going in. Focus on your feet. Very important. Oh, there you go. Okay. Let's do a couple of more. So you end up really tall. And then you, there you go, you move your body with your feet. Okay, last one, stay on your outer edges, turn those feet out. And then, <laughs> you have to really tilt that pelvis backwards, like we did at the beginning. So you have to tilt the tailbone up and lean forward. Oh, this was always a great one. Lean forward, keeping your spine and dead straight. Dead straight. You have to feel those back of your legs. Oh, so you see, feet are out, legs are straight, spine is straight. And then move your bum left and right and say, ouch. <laughs> oh my God, and clicking as well. 
my hip just click. Oh, there you go, placing your hands onto your knees. Just keep your spine straight. Keep tilting your tailbone up. Oh, can you feel this? It's lovely. Especially after 5K run. Miss Jill, <laughs> this is excellent for you. Oh, if, you were, if you are a jogger, that's good. If you are a bicycle, uh, you know, if you're on a bike a lot, if you walk a lot, oh, Anything like that, this is such a good exercise. Okay, last one. Oh, and then slowly come up. Oh, did you feel this? Oh, perfect. Okay, so next one, you're going to um, touch the floor. So you can use the blocks if you need the blocks. Depends if you can reach the ground because body needs to stay upright. Don't slouch. So hold the block, or you don't need a block, and step your right foot backwards, pointing your toes backwards. You're going to stretch the front of your ankles. Oh, there you go. And then you're just moving your um, heel in circle. So just rotate that foot around, moving those toes. And then reverse the other way. Change direction. Oh, it's good. And then step forward. The other leg. Nice stride backwards. So you feel the stretch in, in your front of your ankle. If you get crampy, yeah, don't overdo it. Find a position where, where you're not getting into cramp position. So lessen the... Lessen the pressure on your foot. Okay, reverse the other way. And then step forward. Okay, so we're going into QL stretch. You know this one. It's easy. So you stay forward. You bend both legs to start with. <laughs> and then stretch one leg. Bend the other. And then stretch the other leg so you change it. Bend it. Again, you can use the block if you if you can't reach the floor and it's too too much of the struggle. Please don't struggle. Your body needs to be free to move rather than you just puffing away. So use the block. Don't be shy. Oh, it's lovely. I love this one. QL stretch is one of the maintenance moves. We have to do it every day, some point, somewhere. There you go. The more you bend that knee, whichever side you do, one leg is straight, one knee is bent. But the more you bend that knee, the more stretch you feel. Okay, just a couple of more. Oh. And then slowly come to the middle, roll yourself up oh, with your arms over your head. And then keep your arms long now. Lock those elbows as, as straight as possible. And then come on to your bones of your feet. So you find these two points when I was mentioning at the beginning. So you're lifting your heels up. Stay tall. And then you go a little bit down, a little bit up, a little bit down, a little bit up. So once you find a good stability, try not to touch the floor with your heels. Just kind of bounce. Down, up. Engage those toes, like all five, well, ten of them. <laughs> ten, of, ten of toes are gripping the floor, balancing you. Okay, last one. Heels are down, interlacing your fingers behind your back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, open your chest, like really arch. Now come out of the neutral spine. Bend your knees, tilt your pelvis, and then you go forward. Forward and down with your arms over your head. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, open your chest. Inhale, come up. 
Perfect. And then next one is a tricky one. Look down towards the floor. Keep your gaze down. Lift your heels up as you just done previously. So you come on your balls of your feet. Keep your gaze down. Stay there, don't move. Try to look forward now. Look towards the camera, look towards the me. Hello. <laughs> Stay, don't move. Heels are high. Try to look towards the ceiling. Kind of a little bit more up. Don't move <laughs> if you can. And then last one, look towards your fingertips. Look a little bit more up. Stay for one, two, three, four, five. Whoa. <laughs> and then release. Interlace your fingers behind your back the other way. Awkward binding. Keep shifting that index finger. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Open your chest. Bend your knees. Tilt your pelvis. Go forward and down. Arms over your head. Forward bend. Oh. And then come all the way up and then release. Oh, lovely. Okay, let's slowly start moving towards the sun salutes. Yeah. So step on the front of your mat with your hands together into your heart center. So first we're going to do um, arms up and down five times, strength arms. So you really need to get into pressing your palms against each other so your pectoralis pop out. So it's not prayer position, it's not soft, you have to work it. And when you move your arms, really move it so you feel your back muscle. It's not just up and down. <laughs> You have to really extend through those fingertips and, and feel the energy through your body. It's strong. Engage every muscle while you're doing the round. When you're ready, in and reach with your arms up towards the ceiling. Nice and low, stretch. And then as you exhale, release your arms back into your heart center. Press those palms together. Press. Inhale up, reach, reach, open those palms, reach through your fingertips, squeeze your shoulder blades together, open. And then as you exhale, palms are going down and then you dive, like you would dive down again. You're squeezing those shoulder blades together, hands into your heart center, press. Three more, inhale. Exhale. Wow, you can just feel the effort when you do this. And again, inhale. Exhale. You see how breath is slow, how movement gets slow. Last one. Inhale up. Exhale down. Perfect. Next one, we go halfway towards the floor. Inhale up, arms up. And as you exhale, bend your knees, tilt your pelvis, and only halfway down to, towards the floor so you find good alignment. Okay, so what you need to do here, you're working your back muscles. You see arms, don't make your arms backwards. Arms need to go forward. So the corner of your eye, you can see your thumb. So if you can see your thumb through the corner of your eye, that's where your arms need to be. Okay, touch the floor down. This, this, you see, that's how your low need to go. Your glutes and your legs need to work. Stay steady. Open your arms first. Again, check where your arms are. And then use your legs, use your abdominals to spring back up with your hands into your heart center. That's it. Four more times, minutes. You have to work it. Inhale up. Exhale, dive down, dive down, long, strong, long. Touch the floor. Open your arms first. Feel your back muscles. Use your legs, use your abdominals. Come up, arms up. And then as you exhale, finish into your heart center. Press, beautiful. Three more, inhale up. Hey, thank you for my like. And then as you exhale, exhale, dive down. Arms first, strong, and exhale. 
Two more. Inhale. Up. Exhale. Down. Inhale. Arms up first. Up, 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 up. And exhale. Hands into your heart center. Last round. Inhale. Up. Exhale. Down. Arms first. Feel the back muscles. Lift everything up. And then hands into your heart center. All right. You can just feel it already. Now we stay halfway down. Ten pulses. Inhale. Arms up. Exhale. Dive down. Halfway. Bend those legs. Ten pulses. Make sure you sing this thumb with your corner of your eyes. In. Up. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Touch the floor. Long legs, long spine, long everything. Stretch your legs. Oh, it's lovely. Hunching stretch as you do your sun salute. And then as you exhale, step your right leg back. Stay there a little bit and open your hips. Again, 15 digits in line, five toes, ten fingers at the front. Back heel drives you backwards so you open in a nice line. Proud chest chin up. And feel the opening of that right hip. Oh, it's good. Ground yourself through your hands. Step back into down dog. Come into plank. Measure your down dog. Whatever your feet are, whatever your hands are, this is your distance in your down dog. Five times. Push yourself up into down dog for one. Inhale. Go forward strong. Look forward. Over your tippy toes. Lift your heels up. Back into down dog for two. Stretch. Inhale. Go forward plank. Don't collapse. Stay strong. Squeeze your abdominals. Round three. Lift up and back into down dog. Do it slow. Inhale, front. Exhale, down dog over your tippy toes, releasing your heels last. Last one, inhale, forward. Push up, down dog. Inhale, come plank lower your knees and then chest and your chin. Just lower yourself down with your chest and your chin bum is up. Slide yourself through your hands. Coming into baby cobra, our first baby cobra. So bring your elbows in, shoulders back, and then lift yourself up using your back muscles, not your hands much. And then you tuck your toes under. Push yourself up as a press up upwards. Come into child pose with your toes curl stretch forward cleansing breath and then slowly gradually come into down dog undo yourself into down dog don't snap stay for five counts of breathing feel your down dog Inhaling, exhaling for three. Inhaling, exhaling for four. Inhaling, exhaling for five. Then you step your right foot forward. Again, make sure you arrive. Yeah. If, you, if you're still not able to arrive with your foot in between your hands, get my... <laughs> Get my yoga tutorial. I'll teach you how to do that properly. So you, you're never behind. You always can actually step forward. Oh. Anywho, good alignment now. Get your heel backwards. Open your chest on your fingertips, not on your hands. Don't collapse on your hands. Be light on your fingertips. It changes the energy in the body completely. Anyway, step forward both feet. Keep with the part, excellent, fold down. First forward bend is going to be 
with um, with your hands you see your palms up at the back of your ankles elbows are pointing backwards and don't grab your ankle with your thumb your thumb needs to kind of flare out it needs to go out you just press those palms against the out um, against the ankle and then belly is resting you see my belly is resting on my legs that's how you start and then press and reach a little bit more down towards the ground going to more forward bend. but do not separate the belly and your and your legs you need to squat pressing yourself against those ankles and then just pull yourself in a little bit more depends of your body flexibility don't force it and then slowly look forward use your strong legs arms open come all the way up Phew. and then hands into your heart center press oh it's good okay round two inhale arms up exhale halfway down 10 pulses make sure your thumbs up you see your thumbs and up two three four five six seven eight nine ten touch the floor step your left leg back step your right leg back into plank lower your knees chest and your chin baby cobra elbows in slide yourself through coming into baby cobra this time we're going to interlace the fingers behind your back index fingers pointed open your chest by squeezing your shoulder blades together and really stay there very strong engagement in your upper body legs one leg goes up and then the other leg goes up <coughs> alternate up and down <laughs> point those stops <laughs> and then lift and lift oh and lift on exhale you lift and lift okay last round oh my god it's tough this one <laughs> okay and then after you finish with this alternate lift both legs up lift your chest open hold it one point those toes long legs three four five oh. and then you collapse push yourself into child pose with your toes tucked under long arms oh. drop your elbows down hands together place your hands over your head towards the ceiling opening your chest and again just see where your elbows need to be if you don't feel much stretch you need to move your elbows a little bit forward and you lift your seat of your heels lift your bum a little bit forward as well so move yourself forward and then pull yourself back that's how you feel more stretch Five more breaths. We're going to stay a little bit long here. Five more. Last breath. And then touch down. And then we're going into um forearm down dog so your forearms are down your toes are curled already so you're kind of already in position you need to be just lift your knees off the ground come into down dog with those forearms down you're going to feel in your chest and your shoulders a little bit more and stay five breaths
Oh, that's nice. Last breath. And then come on to your knees. Just resting your shoulders a little bit. Come into child pose. Just um, with your arms next to your body, palms up. Just rest your shoulders a little bit. And then we're moving on. Come on to all fours. Back into down dog. Reach with your right leg high up. Reach long, long, long. Again, keeping your body square. Don't open your hips. Flex that top foot. Release it down. Reach with the left. Release it down. Off you go again. One more time. Reach with the right. Really feel the stretches. Very simple move, but powerful if you do it correctly. Left leg. Oh. And then come into plank. Lower your knees. Off you go. Baby cobra again. Chest and your chin down. Elbows in. Bum up. Slide yourself through, coming into baby cobra. Oh, And then we do 10 of those. Arms are next to your body, palms up. Very simple. On exhale, you're going up. Inhale, exhale, up. Inhale, down. Two. Keep squeezing those shoulder blades together and down. So good for your back muscles that are supporting your spine. So you don't get, you know, you don't get lower back troubles or some sleep discs or hernias all day. This is such an important little exercise. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then last one, 10. Grab your feet and do your um, quadriceps stretch. You've done this one before. So one leg at a time. Bring your heel close to your bum. And then lift your knee up. Oh, oh, oh. oh my God, this one always gets you. And then change legs. Get your heel close to your bum. And then lift your knee up. Oh, yeah. Keep changing. Just make sure that that heel stays close to your bum. That's the whole point. Oh, and again. Oh, it's such a lovely hip flexor stretch. Obviously, when you stretch, when you stretch quadriceps, your hip flexors get stretched as well, which is great. Let's do just one more time each side. Oh, beautiful. And then release. Pop yourself up. Back into child pose. Oh. We're going into another forearm down dog. So place your forearms down on the floor. And then come into down dog. This time around, we're going to lift legs. Same as you did just previously in your down dog. Don't open anything. Just stay square. Lift the right leg up. Feel the chest. Release down. As you ex exhale, lift the left one up. Okay. One more time each side. Oh, it's good. <laughs> And then come into child pose with your shoulders resting. So your arms are next to your body. Just a couple of cleansing breaths. <coughs> and then reach forward. Come back into down dog. Step your left foot forward. <coughs> Step your right foot forward. Excellent. Fall down. Next forward bend is with your arms behind you. So you end up holding on to your elbows. Really get that belly into your legs. So you can get hold of those elbows. So you see how I'm squatting. I'm literally holding myself tight. Keeping that tightness. And then just try to lift your seat up. So your tailbone goes upwards. 
as much as you can. Don't worry how far you get. Just need to feel the stretch in the back of your legs. Standing tight as you are now. If you want to intensify this forward bend, you just move your forearms down your legs towards your ankles. Please don't force it. If it's not for you today, stay where you are. Because you end up, we end up rounding the spine. Your spine needs to be straight if, you, if you're releasing those down. Okay, look forward. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Jesus, eh? Oh, hands into your heart center. Wow. Okay, let's go again. Find your focus, find your breath, find your heart. Hey. When you're ready, inhale up. Ten pulses down towards the floor. Stay halfway. See your thumbs with the corner of your eyes. And up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Touch the floor. Step your right leg back. Step your left leg back into plunge. Strong. Now we do it ten times. Lower your knees down and then come back into plank. And again, strong knees. If you have find that your shoulders are hurting, something is hurting, you can do it on your forearms. You can have your knees up and down. Yeah, just see how you go. Well, if you go, you've done already five, I guess. Strong, work it. Upper body strength, all around body strength. Let's do two more, down and then straight. Knees go down and straight. Last one, down and then straight. And then <laughs> knees down, ah, things go there. <laughs> Baby cobra, chest and your chin, hop. Slide yourself through, coming into baby cobra, oh. Okay, so in this one, another little movement for the back muscle strength. See me, you've done it just once before. See me first. You need to lift your nose off the ground a little bit, so you're not down, you actually, yeah. And your arms are, be, um, hands are behind your head, and then when you rotate your arms, your palms are upwards onto your lower back. You actually just going with your arms backwards and forwards. So touch the back of your head and then go backwards, touch the sacrum. In a, yeah, the arm, with the hands would move. Ready? So we do 10 of those. And down, touch, touch, touch. Squeeze those abdominals. Squeeze those back muscles, shoulder movements. Well, if you go five more. Three more. Last one. Oh, <laughs> woo -hoo. And then slowly push yourself up. Back into child pose. Oh, it's nice. And then come into down dog. So now with your left hand, touch outside of your right ankle. Look underneath your armpit. So you're going into a little twist. Just pull yourself nicely so you can see the ceiling. Come back. Go to the other side. Look underneath your armpit. Come back. Same thing, but with your legs bent. You get more twist when you bend your legs. So grab that ankle. Look underneath your armpit as you're bending your legs. Oh, it's lovely. Oh. Don't be shy with your legs bent. Really go for it. It makes a difference. Change sides. Ah, oh, good. And then slowly come back onto, into your plank, lower your knees. Whew, and now upper body strength, kiss the floor and come back. We keep doing this one. I hope it's getting better a little bit. Again, so elbows in, look forward and you kiss the floor and then you come back. If that's not possible, 
just go little and then come back depends where your strength is so yeah don't force it just make sure that you are secure when you're doing it okay four more okay and then last one turn it into baby cobra coming into baby cobra oh open oh lovely and then grab your feet we're going up little back bend so joining your big toes towards each other as close as as big toes wants to come don't worry if they end up separating lift your toes up lift your feet up your knees off the ground Lift your shoulders, everything goes up. You're going into this back bend, bow, Danurasana. Off you go, lift. One, two, three, four, and five. If you want to massage your digestive system, you go a little bit forwards and backwards. <laughs> you -hoo. Oh, and then you collapse back into child pose mindfully don't snap it just slowly you go back into child pose <sighs> and then into down dog stay five counts of breathing into down dog feel your down dog feel the stretches Last breath. Step your right foot forward, step your left foot forward. And then next forward bend is this one. Get your big toes, hold your big toes. Either with a, hook it with a point finger, middle finger. You have to create a hook. Bend those knees again so your belly is on your thighs. To start with, you have your long spine, long arms, bend legs. And then when you're ready, on your exhale, just bend those elbows and pull yourself towards your legs. Dropping your head down. Feel the stretch on the back of your legs. Nice. And then look forward, arms are long, legs are still bent. Now you're going to move your hands underneath your feet. So you're literally stepping on your palms with your toes touching your wrists. Same thing, your arms are long, your legs are bent, your spine is long. From here, just pull yourself again towards your legs. And then look up, undo, and then oh, come up, come up, come up. Oh, with your hands into your heart center. Oh, it's good. Okay, last round. <coughs> come on the front of your mat. This time we're going to go into a um, squat. So you have to have your feet together. Feet together. And then you just sit backwards. Spine, obviously, it's, it's long spine. Sit back and reach. So your hands are, sorry. Hands into your heart center first. So when you sit, arms are going up simultaneously. And then stay there a little bit. Just feel strong. So now you work your legs, you work your glutes, your abdominals. Everything is strong. Shoulders, check your shoulders. If your shoulders are up to ears and you're struggling, open, create a space. Don't worry if your arms are wider. Doesn't matter. And then hands into your heart center, uh, go forward like you continue the sequence, the sun salute. And then long legs, long spine, long everything. So again, place your hands onto your knees so you can push those hamstrings backwards. 
and then either yeah either you jump backwards or you step your left leg backwards jumping you have to have your hands on the floor and then you just push you kind of propel yourself backwards into plank and then from here we go strong down look forward or use your knees if it's too much look forward elbows in down for five four three two one stay on the floor <laughs> and then try to lift yourself off the floor as a one unit you know as like lift yourself off the floor as a one piece try and strong squeeze everything and up <laughs> and then you point in your toes and then you're coming into upper toe stay in your upper toe oh upper dog is always good it just stretches beautifully and then you tuck your toes under and then you come back into the arm dog inhale reach with your right leg high up and as you exhale step forward shift your back foot down on the floor and then open into warrior two nice warrior two we do five times with the front leg. Stretch your front leg straight and then really go forward. Try to sink a little bit more if you can. Inhale up, exhale down. Two. Three. Four. And last one, five. And then you go into side stretch. So place your hand in step inside. Use that elbow to push that knee away from you. And then move that upper arm over your ear, finding yourself in a nice long lateral stretch. Really open the body. Top shoulder. Can you move your top shoulder a little bit backwards? And then strong legs, propel yourself into crescent so you're going backwards so from down you're going up into crescent your back hand is on your back knee the front arm is up in the air going over bend your front leg a little bit more and then come into warrior two stretch your front leg straight and we're going into trikonasana reach forward and then down oh it's lovely <laughs> Place your hand onto your, onto your ankle or, or calf or your knee. Depends on your flexibility. Don't force the body. Okay. But what you want, you really need to feel that stretch in your inner leg, front inner leg. That's what you're after. Oh, bless. I love Trikonasana. What a lovely posture. Place your hand onto your hip. The top arm, top hand goes onto that top hip. Oh, and then you really work that opening. Mm. Good. And then can you wrap around so the top arm goes around and you try to kind of hook it on the trousers on the opposite leg or somewhere. Just holds onto something. Oh, good. And then slowly undo. Turn yourself halfway. So you're already kind of there. Going into spider. Turn your feet diagonally. Bend your legs. Bend your knees. So you're sitting literally almost like you're squatting again. And your arms are underneath your shoulders. Not underneath your belly. Just be careful. Because sometimes when you don't see yourself, you think you are in the right. Go towards the face. It's better. Towards the face. Anyway, off you go. Bend one leg, stretch the other. And you keep exchanging on your exhale. Inhale, you come up. Exhale, stretch. Oh, it's lovely. Spider. So you're not moving your arms at all. Arms are staying where they are fixed. You're just shifting your bum from one side to the other. Oh, it's good. Really feel this movement. Open everything, your chest, your hips, 
Everything is spacious when you move. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, okay. <laughs> and then from here, turn yourself at the front of your mat. So we're finishing this side, select into down dog. Come into plank. Off you go. Five counts down towards the floor. Five, four, three, two, one. Point your toes. Come into upper dog. Open. And then into down. Mm, cleansing breath. Let's do left. Reach with your left leg higher. And as you exhale, step forward. Shift your back foot down 45 degrees. Open into warrior two. Nice and long, spacious. And then we do it five times. Stretch your front leg straight and you go down for one. And two, three, four, nice, strong, and five. Okay, on the next one, you're going into side stretch. So touch the floor, your hand goes in step, inside. Really open those hips, sink low with your hips. And move the top arm over your ear. So in a nice long line of the side stretch. Find a good grounding. You're going into crescent, back bend. Off you go, propel yourself into back bend. So the back arm is on your back knee. The, the front arm is up and over. Bend your front leg a little bit more. Front knee. Oh. And then Come into warrior two, stretch your front leg straight, trikanasana. Reach forward and then down. Ah, bless trikanasana. Love ya. <laughs> oh, it's good. Again, you have to choose your level. Don't compromise the form. Ankle or shin or knee, your choice, wherever you can get. Place your top hand onto your top hip. Open a little bit more, pulling that top shoulder backwards. And then if you can wrap around, holding that opposite thigh, create crease of that thigh. Lovely. And then turn yourself halfway. So I'm just going to turn myself <laughs> Yeah, so you, we go similar spider, just a little bit more to stretch the inner legs. So your feet are still diagonal and you sit down, same as you did before. But this time around, when you shift side, you lift your foot up, that's the difference. Come back and then lift the other foot up. And you, and you have to really get the body in the right alignment. So you feel that stretch. Oh. Um, sometimes I've been asked, do you actually sit? <laughs> Thank you. Do you sit on, on that, uh, your heel is up or do you sit? I prefer not to because if you end up on this side sitting like this, it's lazy energy and you don't feel much on the leg that you're stretching. So rather, you keep it, you see that, keep it engaged. Legs are working, glutes is working. Thank you for my hearts and lungs. Oh, there you go. Okay. Let's do a couple of more. Oh. Okay. And then turn yourself around, step back into down dog. Last vinyasa, coming into plank, halfway, elbow height. Use your knees if it's too much. And Chaturanga Dandasana, quickly point your toes and then lift yourself up into upper dog. Oh, and then into down dog. Stay here for last five breaths. Um, we go into, into Shavasana after this one. So use this down dog as your last realignment before coming down, before final relaxation. Hmm. 
Last breath, and then come into child pose just to realign a little bit, arms next to your body, rotating your hands around your wrists. And then roll your spine up, lift yourself up with your legs in front of you. Dig your heels into the ground, arms in front, long spine. Again, if you have a lower back troubles, just go gently down, don't do this. This is quite strong for the lower back. Otherwise, drop in your voice, good. <laughs> Roll yourself down, Ooh. Oh, floor, sweet floor. So good to see you. Oh, oh really stretch, enjoy this one. Oh, hug your knees into your chest. Just quick twist before we finish. Drop your knees to one side. Look away from your knees. Come back to the center. Drop your knees to the other side. Look away from your knees. Come back to the center, move your knees around in circles around your sacrum, massaging your lower back a little bit, just to check is everything all right. Reverse the other way. And then collapse. Two minutes in Shavasana, final relaxation. Legs are straight forward, flop your feet sideways, your arms next to your body, palms up. Shake your head, right, left, left, right. Come back into total stillness. Closing the eyes, opening your third eye. Soften your face. Soften your eyelids. Soften your skin on your face. Soften your jaw. Soften the corners of your mouth. Soften your throat. Soften your heart. And soften your belly so your breath can flow. Allow your breath to be free now, just as it comes, as it goes. Relax your shoulders. Relax your arms. Relax your elbows. Relax your palms and your fingers. Relax your hips and your pelvis. Relax your legs, your thighs, your knees, your calves. Relax your feet and your toes. And now relax your mind and your breath. Allowing again this healing process to take place. Balancing out your energies and preparing you for the day.
Ten more breaths. And then slowly, just slowly start bringing awareness back to your mat, deepening your breath. Wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers. And extend your arms above your head, big long stretch. And as you exhale, hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice hug. And then shift your body weight onto your right hand side. Stay there for a couple of breaths just to adjust your energy. And when you are ready, coming into cross legged seated position with your spine upright, with your shoulders back and down, belly soft so your breath can flow. Reaching with your arms up towards the sky, bringing the sky back into your heart center. <laughs> Giving you thanks for yoga practice and opportunity to practice. Joining the yin and yang, sun and moon, happy and safe, good and bad, into one harmony. So now lift your heart and bow your head. Namaste. Oh, thank you everyone. Oh. Did you survive? <laughs> I'm soaked. It's good, no? Oh my God, I'm very soaked. <laughs> Sunny, thank you, Sunny. Yes. And also thank you for your um, appreciation and love showing through your donations. I really appreciate that. Okay, so um, I'm going to love you and leave you. Bye. Love from Bali.